This is Coombe Cassis for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're in fight camp, it's week two. Delighted to be joined by Mr. Bad News himself, Mark Bennett. How are you, mate? Good, thank you, mate. Yep, thank you. Uh, the first question is, obviously everyone's going to wonder, what's happened to that left eye? It was just sparring, mate. I was a bit, well, a head clash, really, than out, more than out. But uh, speaking when you should have been listening, that's what it is, isn't it? <laughs> That's all right. It's not going to uh, hinder you uh, from this week, so you're all good. Uh, yeah, you come into uh, this week, obviously, with the, the challenge of Alan Babbage. Um, talk to me about when the fight was put to you and what your immediate thoughts about that. Um, sorry, mate. It got put to me about seven weeks ago. Um, I, I, was, I was game for it. I think it's a good fight. I, I do think we both bring a lot to the table. Um, I'm not going to deny that it is a fight. It is a good fight. Um, but yeah, I got offered it and I thought, yeah, fuck it, let's have it, yeah. Well, everyone has their opinion about Alan Babbage since he sort of came onto the scene a couple of years ago through Dillian White. He was obviously in camp with Dillian White sparring, turned over professional and, you know, he's had his kind of critics of boxing purists saying, you know, how, how far can he actually go, yeah. the size of him, etc. But every question that's been asked of him uh, ahead of Saturday, he's answered. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, I do believe that I can cause him trouble, though, um, and, I, and I do believe that I can take the win. I'm, I'm not turning over. I'm coming for a fight, so you know, we'll see. The best man I win on Saturday night, um, but I do think th there's, there is there is questions that he's got to answer with the the weight, the weight issue. The I think he should be boxing at cruise weight, um, but we'll see. I don't, he might have heavy hands. Don't know. I've not been punched by him yet, so we'll find out. <laughs> I think as soon as this fight was announced, obviously people that, that kind of know you and the way you fight yeah. know that this isn't going to be, like you said, you're not coming here to kind of make up numbers. You're coming here to win the fight and, yeah. and kind of t take his loss, if you like. Yeah, I mean, I want to take his out, yeah, to be fair. I think we're both the similar type of style fighters. We both come forward, we both meet in the middle and we'll just trade, I think. I think that's how it's going to go down on Saturday. I think you're in for a good fight, whether it's long or short, I don't know. But I think we'll, uh, we'll entertain, that's for sure. Um, well, kind of a, outside of the ring, he um, has a, I don't know what to call it. A, 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 yeah, is it a split personality <laughs> or an alter ego? Uh, in he differentiates between the Savage and and Alan Babbage. But I'm assuming a guy like yourself isn't really going to take too much notice of that. No, I mean, I mean, I think it's mind games, isn't it? I just let him do him, and I'll do me. He carries on how he does want to do his business and I do my business how I want to do mine. If he wants to play the fool, he can play the fool, mate, for me. But I'm just going to keep myself to myself and then just show the business on Saturday night. I mean, concerning Alan Babbage, he was, well, he was due to fight, really, uh, Nick Webb uh, before Fabio Wardley, obviously, got the fight with him. But obviously that is uh, one of the names on your record, the only yeah. defeat you've suffered, uh, which was, what, two years ago now? Yeah, Nick Webb was my last outing. Um, yeah, he did get the, he got the nod on the night, which was, it was like we, I, I had an hard night that night. Obviously I fought McFarlane and, and um, Sanderland through the, uh, the, the first round and second round and met Webb in the final. It was a good fight, he took the fight, he won it. Um, but I do believe, I mean, I've got nothing against Nick. He's a he was a lovely lad, we, we had crack after and before, but I do believe that it's a fight I'd like to have and I think that I could take him over a longer distance. Um, fresher, I think, but yeah, he's, um, yeah. I, I was shocked, it's a good fight for Nick, well, to be fair, I think what, he's been, what's the word? Um, he's been overlooked a bit as well, I think. I think him and Fabio was a good fight, so. Yeah, I think that's an absolute cracking fight, especially after Nick Webb's very impressive win over Eric Pfeiffer, which not a lot of people I spoke to tipped uh, Nick Webb to beat Pfeiffer uh, in Gibraltar. He did, so this makes this fight more interesting with him. Um, but I suppose for yourself, and I've always asked people that have kind of suffered losses in that format of the the shorter rounds, etc., etc. Is it hard to kind of comprehend that's a, that's a loss in your record because it wasn't kind of over a full distance? A lot of people have said to me that when, when I'm talking about it, they say, oh, yeah, but it's not a loss, though, is it, Mark? It's after three fights that night. It is a, it's a loss at the end of the day, isn't it? I've, I've, he, put, he had his hand raised at the end of the night and I didn't. Don't get me wrong, I'd have fucking get everything to take that golden round over me, but I just didn't edge it. Um, I thought it was a good fight. I, didn't, I don't think that he outboxed me ma massively. I think that I was in the fight, just... I was fucked, pretty much like. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's it is a loss. It was my first loss, to be fair, throughout my unlicensed days, through my professional days. That's the only time I've ever lost, and it was quite an hard tablet to take, to be fair. Mate. But yeah, it's happened now. So, 
Coming on to uh, this Saturday, uh, when we've watched Alan Babbage, obviously over however many fights he's had, uh, I'm not going to say he only has that style, but that's the only style we've seen, that kind of from the off, very come forward, aggressive style. Um, is that what we're going to expect? And is that what you're expecting to face on Saturday night? Yeah, I think I think that's what I'm expecting him just to come off straight off at stable and just go straight into it. He has I seen it, something that other day about him going to throw hundred punches in the first round or something. I don't know if that were yourself, but let him throw and we'll just see how throw back. I'm just we we'll just I'm telling you, mate. We're just going to stand and I'm not taking a backward step, and I don't suppose he will. And I think we're just going to stand and we're going to trade all night until one of us goes. That's a good attitude and for fans tuning in or one of the select 300 people that are, will be in attendance, I suppose that's what they want to hear. I mean, we didn't, I think last week's fight camp, we had one stoppage, which is in the last fight. There's three heavyweight fights on this bill. So I think we're going to see knockouts, uh, especially amongst them three fights. Yeah, I believe so, mate. I, I do think that I can weather, the, weather his storm. I've got an hard head, like, so we'll see. I, I, I think I'll weather his storm and I think I could pull a late stoppage, to be fair, in this five, six round with uh, well you've only just kind of recently arrived there he's been here since yesterday Alan has have you had a chance have you interacted no, with him yet no I've not I think he was sat down there when I walked in um, and then I've gone to get my test and then as I've come back out I've not really not bumped chests or out yet no I'm, I'm, I'm waiting now. I'm waiting for his his lingo or his talk or whatever he wants to come out with like so but yeah, I'll just like I say, I'll do me and let him do him, mate. That's that's the best I can do. Yeah, I mean, when you're in this situation here, obviously it's quite close knit. You can't really kind of avoid. Not saying he would avoid you or, or yeah. you would avoid him. I'm just saying you can't really avoid anyone here. Yeah. No. Yeah, I can imagine. I mean, I've just bumped into uh, Fabio in the toilet. Like, <laughs> hey, mate, how you going? <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, like you say, we're on top of each other. I do think we'll probably be sat on the same table having dinner at one point, like or across from each other. Well, yeah, it is what it is. Well, well, I mean, I've got no no hard feelings against him. Don't get me wrong; he's been talking a load of bollocks about me through the camp, and it's obviously cut me the wrong way. But it is what it is. We will get it on Saturday night, and may the best man win for me. Absolutely. Uh, well, Mark Bennett, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. We do wish you the best of luck. Obviously, it's only Wednesday today. Normal fight week procedure. Press conference tomorrow. Way in Friday and Saturday night. Uh, it's on. That's it, mate. Yeah, Saturday night. Come forward. Have you got anything else you'd like to add before we finish? Um, no, mate, no. Thank you. for. Um, I'm, it's a good platform to be on here. I'm, I'm happy to be here. I'm just going to embrace it and just take in the experience, mate, and hopefully more to come. Mark, thank you very much for talking to us and uh, we'll definitely catch up with you again at some point this week. Brilliant. Thank you. Cheers, mate.